In this episode, we are going to continue where we left off in the last episode. So we have this tank, I'm, I'm calling it tank. So we can turn left, we can turn right, and also move on the local y-axis. Okay, so uh, what we are going to add in this episode is the camera follow. So the camera will follow this tank. Before I continue, I just want to show you something. I'm just going to print out. So comment out or uncomment this line, which prints out when we press the W key, the values. Just to show you what, what this returns. So I'm just going to save this. So text save. Also open up the uh, toggle the system console and let's press P and press the W key then press escape go to the system console and as you can see it returns a list uh, with with the number one so that's why we have to index it like this so values at negative one which returns the last element from this list which is so this list has only one element so it will return uh, this one so if input is one it means we are pressing w key so we are going to add to the move the move speed okay i'm just going to comment out this line or just delete this line so i just wanted to show you what this values uh, holds and also don't forget always to save your script and it looks like a bg is crashed so it says not responding so i had to close uh, a bg and restart it and unfortunately it happens uh, very often that a bg crashes so that's why probably i won't use this engine um, too long and I'm already thinking about switching to Godot or Unreal or Unity because as I said uh, the last time I'd, I did this scene ABG crashed uh, two or three times within 10 minutes so it's uh, I think it's it's, it's a li little bit unstable engine okay so now let's add this camera follow so I'm just going to close this window because we don't need it and just uh, expand this button window and switch it to the logic bricks editor. And I'm going to select the camera, of course, because we are going to add this follow effect to the camera. So select the camera, add an always sensor, also add an end controller and here in the actuators I'm just going to close this panel so press N to hide and unhide so the actuator will be actually a um, camera actuator so select the camera actuator and just connect these so the sensor to the controller and the controller to the actuator and now let's take a look I'm going to save it and I'm just going to take a look how it looks like now and nothing happens of course because we have to select the, the object uh, what we want to follow with the camera so here is this camera object press here and select the tank okay so now let's try it and as you can see it jumps straight to the middle of the cube so what we have to do is actually just play with these values here, the minimum, the maximum, the damping and also with the height. So the damping, first of, first of all I'm just going to set the minimum and the maximum. The minimum I'm going to leave it at zero but I'm going to set the maximum to 10. So at which point starts the camera follow the object, in this case this cube or this tank. Uh, let me try now. So as you can see now it doesn't jump to the middle of the cube and it actually already started to fall low. Uh, one more thing I'm going to add is just the height for the camera because now the camera is on the same level as, the, as this tank. So here we can set this height. I'm just going to add it 
add to it four. So now let's try it. And as you can see now, the camera is four units above the tank. So it looks a little bit better. And one more thing I'm going to set. By default, this damping is set to 0.03. And it is okay, but I just find that if I set it to zero, I like it better a little bit. So let's do this. And now we have a camera following our tank. So if I rotate the tank towards the camera and I press the W key, it just smoothly, smoothly switches. I mean, the camera smoothly moves uh, above the cube or the tank. Okay, so that's what that's all what I wanted to show you in this video. This will be just a short video. And uh, one more thing, uh, in the next episode, I don't know if it, if it will be the last episode or not, but in the next episode I'm just going to add uh, shooting. So if we will press the space key, the tank will shoot with uh, from its turret uh, on the local Y axis.